you want to be uh, Mario? <laughs> I saw that out there. I don't think so. My, my daughter was Mario for uh, Halloween. Yeah, I, did, I, like, oh. I would like to be a pink lady, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell my wife. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. And there you go. Look at that, you got a fanny pack on like me. You, you must be a real man. Only real men wear fanny packs, they tell me. I'm a pretty big guy. <laughs> nice to meet <laughs> you. I never had to worry about that. Oh, I like that ladder. Let's see how much it is. How much on that uh, ladder right there? It's, it's, there you go. Thank it's you. had a few years. Yeah, I can tell that. Where did it originate from? <laughs> Probably Massachusetts, Vermont. Well, I mean, it's from Florida your voice, I would say the, the Northeast. Yeah, or Florida. <laughs> did we bring that back to Florida? Florida. So. No. Yeah. no, no, this came from you. This is this has followed us around. Yeah. <laughs> it's got uh, you a lot of use, huh? Yeah, I'd say, uh, I'd say, I'd uh, say. Uh, Hey, give me a couple of bucks and that's yours. All right. I'll give you a couple of bucks and take it out of here. Might need a little strengthening. Okay. My wife will paint it up and use it. She's not going to actually use it to use it, I think. Okay. Makes good shelves. For yep. Yep. Palm Springs, California. I grew up about 10 miles from there, 15 miles from there. It's a Tupperware, a little too high priced. Yeah, poke around those tools. Yeah, Don't ooh. Don't let the prices scare you off. <laughs> okay. Just don't offer me anything higher than those tools. <laughs> <laughs> you might be supposed to accept. I hear you. Greenfield. All right, well, I wish I could buy more from you, but I'm just going to buy that ladder. All right. Like I say, it, it might need... Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. Yeah, and there you go. Well, Look at that. You got a fanny pack on like me. You, you must be a real man. Only real men wear fanny packs, they tell me. I'm a pretty big guy. <laughs> nice to meet <laughs> no, you. I never had to worry about that. <laughs> See ya. How y'all doing today? Good, how are you doing? doing about pretty good, pretty good. I've got some furniture if you're interested at all. <sighs> well, let's see, you got any bookcases? No. Uh, that's the only thing I'd be interested in, I think, for furniture, unfortunately. Okay. But thank you. Yeah. Right. You're somebody important with that camera on your... Oh, well, I wish I was somebody important. Well, I mean, everybody's I, I, I have it on just in case something important happens. I see. That way I can put it on YouTube and... You well, want you want to do something you want to do something no, amazing? Do you don't have any tricks or anything? She's already amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, y'all. You have a good day. I hear that thing humming. It's humming. It probably needs two, no doubt. But... Things, just ask. Don't, don't pay attention to any prices. If it's got a price tag gotcha. on, it's at least half that. Well, I sell in a booth, so when I first came over here, I was like, uh-oh, this guy used to sell in a booth. I'm probably not going to get any deals, but oh, I heard you say... If there's something you think you can sell, talk to me. Because we'll, we'll, <laughs> if it's in here, it means I've switched out of my booth to something else. Yeah. Where you got a booth at? Bedford. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
at uh, yep. Liberty or no? Or Bells or I, I have one at Bells. Road? And I have one at Bells. Well, Dirt Road doesn't have. They don't consign. They yeah. own it all, don't they? Bells and um, Nifty Things. Okay. Across the street. So I'm a newbie though. So. You got a theme? Um, <laughs> the theme is beginner. We would have a theme eventually. Um, I think I'd actually like to have a couple of booths in both places so that my wife could have her thing and I could have my thing there you go. or maybe even have one just for holiday stuff or right. do, you know, just kind of separate a little bit. But yeah, I do well with know. Christmas and I do decent with Halloween things when I can find them. That came with a bunch of Earnhardt hats. Yeah. I don't know why, but. What do you do on it? Fits in. All right. I can do that. Both knives. There you go. I sell online as well. Now, the Weebles, I haven't had time to really dig in here to see what's in there. Uh -huh. um, what it was was the people I bought it off of, the Haunted House Weebles, uh -huh. they had with the Western Ranch set up. Okay. So I didn't think I was ever going to see it again. So I sold all of it together. Uh -huh. Then, a while later, I get this. Well, they I'd already sold the witch and the right, ghost and right, everything right. out of that. I'm going, ah. And you were selling them in your booth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sold in my booth. That oh, was yeah. a bunch of old skating stuff, and I sold most of it that... Um, those were the numbers they had on the skaters back in the day. Right. Like skaters meaning? Uh, speed skating. Okay. And skate dancing from back in the uh, uh -huh. like well, 50s. A little roller derby action would be good. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So oh, what we got here? here. Cry uh, just some, when, when, when you get legs on a, a, a piece of furniture, yep. you know, I got a lot of mid-century furniture, and if it starts to get a little rust at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you something funny to do and something you can look out for with these old cans. So if you have vintage Krylon cans, they're actually worth something, huh? Not just something. Some of them are worth a lot of money. Really? Hundreds. I'll be. Didn't know that. Yep. I didn't either. I made a video about it. You should check it out. <laughs> and it's mostly West Virginia glass, Blinko glass is what I deal in. Okay. Here. All right. So a lot of this stuff came from basements or estate sales where there was a piece of glass I wanted. And you ended up and getting get the rest of it. everything, right? Like the Earnhardt stuff. Uh-huh. A ton of Earnhardt stuff in there. That's not my thing. Yep. I don't know the value of it. I um, just sold a big box of it for 30 bucks. Yeah. Not not much, to be honest with you. Some of it is, but yeah. that isn't. See, like uh, this, mm -hmm. the guy signed. He, he took it to 1992 Winston Cup preview. Uh -huh. His pass is in there to get signed. And it's signed in an old Harry so, Grant, too. Yeah, you got Harry, you got Dale, and it's got Ricky Rudd, I think, in there signed. Uh -huh. And then his pass to go into the preview is in there, which is the only providence I got that they are actually signed. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And then the same guy who was buddies with Dale Earnhardt bought Dale Earnhardt's first Lumina at Earnhardt Chevrolet when Dale opened it up. So... When the guy nice. behind me bought the first Lumina, huh. Dale took this off the wall and signed it and gave it to him. Pretty I cool. know that. Yeah. The deceased neighbor knows that. Sure. No one else Nobody knows else that. knows that. So, so it's just a it cool worked. picture with yeah. an autograph, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty neat. But to someone who's a real Earnhardt fan, I can tell them the story. And instead of $300, I had 100 in my booth. It's $50. You got it. It's a nice song. All right, well, hey, nice to meet you. Try everything, and when it works, when it works, it, till it doesn't anymore. <laughs> you can do something different. I love that advice. Thank you Thank so you. much, sir. Hello, good morning. How are you guys? Good. Y'all uh, sell much yesterday? Good. Good for you. That means you're ready to give me a discount today, right? <laughs> yeah. Yamaha ST thirties. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never heard of those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rub on and take the tarnish off. Yep. Yeah, they look neat. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know much about them. Are they worth much here? A lot of them are hunting games. Mm -hmm. they, you know, search and hunt. Right. They're not all that, but a lot of them are. Even these? That's what this is here? Um, I don't know. I wish my mom was up here because yeah. she could tell you. Yeah. Looks like a multiples. Um, I, might, I might check these out online, see if they're got any value. Maybe I will help you out. I don't know. <laughs> I I all, so For the whole damn, thing? The whole damn thing. Just load them up and you start getting out of my <laughs> I understand. All right, well, let me check, see if it's worth my time, and I might do that.
If you would consider $50, I will do those golf clubs. You'll do that? Okay. And you got what you got on these furs here. You got 30 bucks on the furs. There's three of them. Hmm. I have. They're blast. I have. They are blast. All right, well, here, let me pay you, I guess. And I don't know about them furs. I might stop by on my way back to my house and see if they're still here. And I got to kind of think about them. So. Not a bad price if you get somebody that wears that size. Yeah. It, it yep. really is. It's a heck of a deal. My mom paid hundreds for them. Oh, yeah, I have no doubt. They they just. They're not the end thing anymore. It's you know they used to be worth a ton. Now they're now they're worth yeah. a lot to the right person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's like selling. It's like selling this. You know, it's got a special because mm -hmm. we've got an in-law suite downstairs. Oh like yeah. Buddy, so hey. He says, just hang on. There's an ass for every. Yeah, that's day. exactly right. <laughs> and we found it last Sunday. <laughs> uh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, well, good you. for you. Thank good you. for you. All right, yeah, I appreciate if you, it. If you come back and get mm -hmm. both of them, okay. We've got Thirty dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. on. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. And Hopefully you sell them, but if not, okay, we'll do. Appreciate Thank it. Jimmy. Thank right, you. you have a good day. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? All right. Yeah. How much you asking on that backpack right there? Let's see what you want for the backpack. I don't know. Five bucks. Five bucks. All right. Five bucks. I think uh, I think I'll make a little pile if that's all right with y'all. Hopefully, I'll make a pile. I think all I need is that, uh, right. that thing, can't... although there's those uh, coolers right there. Are those oh, for Sarah, there's absolutely. yours. Can you come look at those coolers? <laughs> 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 take something right off my hand. Uh, how much will you pay me to take it? <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. How about this little one right here? What do you say on that little one? Two bucks. All right, hang tight. I'll give you a dollar for this and then I owe you six because I'm buying that backpack. Okay, Is that okay? That's perfect. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, good luck to y'all. Got a couple of uh, yard sales that were right next to each other right off the bat. Nothing spectacular. One of them was a Friday yard sale, but I still picked up some Yamaha blades. Um, the golf clubs that uh, should have some pretty decent value. They look like uh, there's a one listed out there for $195 and there are three watchers on it plus shipping. I paid 50 bucks. I think if I list them for 150 they'd sell pretty quick and I'd make a quick 85 bucks. The other one had a um, Coleman framed hiking backpack in um, pretty good shape for five bucks. I went ahead and bought that. Sell the plate again, but I'll, I'll sell it online more than likely. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Very well. And yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. 
Got any good stuff for me? <laughs> I'll give you 50 cents on the Bud Light Lime hat. You take 50 cents. I know it's a big discount. Five dollars a piece. <sighs> All right, deal. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Thirty-six dollars. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Do you want to be stopped raining? Yeah. Do you want to be uh, Mario? <laughs> I saw that out there. I don't think so. My, my daughter was Mario for Halloween. Yeah, I did. I, I would like to be a pink lady, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell my wife. I'll tell you what I would like, though. I would like a deal if I bought every one of these uh, reels. So how about... Uh, ones in here? Yeah. I think I have three on each one. That's like there's 12. 36. Give me 25 bucks. You can have them. Perfect. Perfect, uh, perfect. Let me put that in a bag. Okay. Though, I'd, no problem. Uh, hey, take time. No problem. My wife won't let me put the... Oh, I hear you. I've been through every one of these reels. They, uh -huh. they all work. Yeah, that's what I, that's why I like them. Like they look pretty decent. These all right. Two, um, sure. I don't sure. Use them or not. I don't know if <laughs> not the, either, but I'll take them. The old school um, rods were interchangeable. You can uh -huh. just put a new handle on. Them, okay. That's what they were. All right. Well, I'm gonna give you this and the pink lady money. Fair enough. All right. Thank you. All right. Good deal. You have Enjoy. a good day. We will thank you. for sure. Yeah, enjoy that uh, outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll do my best. Y'all have a nice day. Those little reels right there, they're not unbelievable, but they are old reels. They have the little bake light knobs on them. I think they'll probably double my money. I might just pick the best couple out that will sell and bring some money on eBay and then put the rest in the booth for like six bucks and see what happens. So um, I think we'll probably turn that 25 into about 80, maybe 70. Well, not bad. <laughs>